These are all Campbell soup cans and uh, all the different flavors. We've got chicken, chicken, vegetarian, vegetable, vegetable, beef, minestrone, tomato, cream of broccoli, and they all just go down and down. Um, Andy Warhol is obsessed with Campbell's soup. He actually survived on these uh, cans, which were really popular in kind of the post-war boom of the 50s and 60s. They served as such a fantastic subject for his pop art masterpieces, his paintings, because of how similar they all look. But they all had slightly different flavors. They were found in every kitchen in America over and over and over again. And of course, he painted that extremely famous masterpiece in New York's Museum of Modern Art. Every single one of them with a different flavor. Like an industrial satire of a still life painting, Andy Warhol painstakingly screen printed all 32 available flavors of Campbell's soup in 1962. And this painting, this series of paintings, was widely mocked by the critics at the time. Andy Warhol, the satirist who did pop art here, was going to look at three of his subjects, Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, and Jackie Kennedy. So pop art blows up and exaggerates and repeats a common subject to kind of satirize it and kind of poke fun at American pop culture. So Marilyn Monroe here in the kind of vibrancy, but showing her a kind of faded, um, kind of an inverse and eventually you know, leading into her death. So let's go look at two others of Andy Warhol's, Elvis and Jackie Kennedy. This Andy Warhol pop art piece shows Jackie Kennedy in the three different stages of kind of um, dealing with her husband's assassination. So we see her before on the right and in the state of shock maybe in the middle and then grief on the left. Elvis Presley, another subject of Andy Warhol's pop art, the king of rock and roll, uh, in triple 